Our next guest is a talented actress you know from films like Reminiscence and Dumbo. You can see her in The Last of Us, which premieres January 15th on HBO. Let's take a look. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. It's it from terrorists? I don't know. Are we sick? No, of course not. Why did things blow up? No cell phone, no radio. A minute ago, a newsman wouldn't shut up. How do you know? What? How do you know we're not sick? Please welcome to the show, Nico Parker, everyone. Hi, how Hi. are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm wonderful, I'm so happy you're here. Thank this you is for a film uh, based on a very popular Video game, yes. post-apocalyptic. You got yes. to see it at a premiere with an audience full of people. Was it really fun? We did. It was. We watched uh, the first episode, which you know is I'm prevalent in, and it was amazing. But I suck at watching myself. I like. I hate nothing more. So I'm, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like gearing up, and you know, some people leave as soon as it starts because they just can't face it. But I was thinking, like, you know, if I'm in the room. No one can be like, God, she was so bad because I'm right next to them. So I was like, I should just be there just so that no one can say anything. Um, That's I was, very I was smart. Did you stand like up before it started and say, just so you all know, I'm going to be staying? <laughs> I, was wearing, I was wearing a very bright dress purposefully so I could be like, do you all see that I am right here in front of you? This is uh, uh, based on a pandemic, uh, obviously a bit uh, more severe than the one we just went through. How did you spend your pandemic? Um, it was super relaxed. I was at home in London with my family. Um, I was doing, you know, the typical school Zooming, which was amazing because, you know, you join the math Zoom and then you mute it and you go downstairs for a couple hours and then you come back and it's finished. Um, <laughs> oh, wow, that's just a very, what a celebration was, of education. It was incredible. But, I'd, I'd, <laughs> but um, I'd come back and they'd be like, why are you still here three hours later? I'm like, sorry, just really lost track of the equations. Um, <laughs> But it was it was a good learning lesson for me because it taught me that me and my sister cannot live together. Um, it was the butting heads was intense, but it was it was great. Uh, is your sister older or younger? Older. Okay, I heard a story. Um, yeah. Maybe one of the reasons she's tricky to live with is because she's brutally honest. Because I heard that she met uh, at the time Prime Minister Boris Johnson in the UK, and and what did she say to him? She was at uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is her safe space, and she saw him, and she went up and she tapped him on the shoulder and she went, um, excuse me, Mr. Johnson, and he turned around and was like, yes, uh, I think he was expecting a compliment of some sort. And she goes, um, you're a <laughs> enjoy the show. <laughs> it's very nice, it, it's very sweet that she also wanted I mean, him to enjoy the that show. That is her way, know? I mean, yeah, she... <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's an absolute legend. Yeah. You, uh, uh, your parents uh, are both in the business. Uh, Tandaway Newton, a fantastic actor in her own right, and then your father is a film director, mm -hmm. uh, Al Parker. And tell me, uh, are they when you audition for things? Do you get feedback from them? What has life been like with them in the same career? It's. It's amazing, I think, because you know me and my dad do a lot of self tapes together, which is great because it's just like cheating. Um, and so we do, we do a lot of self tapes together. Uh, so I've gotten way more comfortable. And you know, so this is when you have to audition for yeah, a role. Yeah, doing audition. In person, you get an actual film director yes. to film yours, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but so you know, me and him, he's very good at kind of keeping it like parent and then professional. Very good at that dynamic. But even after you know, been doing it a couple of years now, and after every single first take, I kind of sit there and we both kind of sit in silence and I'm like, how was it? You hated it, I know you hated it. And we just have that kind of um, struggle, but, but it's great. They're both very good at kind of being the supportive parents and then also giving like professional criticism and praise and all of that. Have you been lucky enough or did you feel as a, as a young person, was it lucky to go to sets that they were working on? Did you like those visits? I, you know, I have to say that they were boring when I was younger. Yeah. It's a lot of waiting. Um, yeah. You know, they, they're, I was just they're like, you boring guys... when you get older. Yeah. Too. yeah. <laughs> But I was like, you guys just don't do any work. Um, just a lot of waiting. But it was, you know, uh, the difference in sets for both my parents is extreme. Because, you know, with my dad, I'm like going onto the Mamma Mia set and I'm like, hey Cher, hey Meryl, <laughs> just like, you know, with all the A-listers. And then with my mom, it was, you know, the Westworld set and you are just surrounded by all these corpses. And yeah. me and my sister, me and my, you know, they're all prosthetic, obviously. Um, and we, 
my dad, we were just bored. We're like, we want to go home. My dad's like, go play over there with that dead body. So we see this kind of, <laughs> this uh, corpse on a stretcher with a, um, a sheet over it and me and my sister go over and we peel back and it's my mum, a prosthetic version <laughs> of my mother, <laughs> looking, there's the, there's the looking incredibly... <laughs> I, mean, this, I mean, this is really a, a good example of how little she's working. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> That is not yeah. a fun thing to see. <laughs> um, hey, congratulations so much on the show. Thank and thank you, you so much. much for being here. It's been lovely talking to you. <laughs> Nico Parker, everybody. The Last of Us premieres January 15th on HBO. We'll be right back with music from Inhaler.